Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to check out the Deity V-Mic D4 Dual. This is supposed to be the very best microphone that you can get for vlogging, like the best that you're gonna be able to get for on camera, holding it out in front of you, getting your vlog on type vlogging. It's supposed to be the best. We're gonna find out. So, here we go. All right, here is the box. Let's take a quick look around it. We can see here it says V-Mic D4 Dual and it says create better content. And then it says it again in French and you can't go wrong with French. I mean, you just can't. And here we are then also we see a picture of the, uh, of the mic and we can notice that it's going to have a dead cat in the front and in the back. And that's because the microphone actually has two capsules, one in the front and one in the back. So there we go. Um, we can see on this side it says Deity Microphones, a uh, little branding on that side. On this side it says no batteries needed, wind protection, and Rycote shock mount. So that's awesome. We're not going to need any batteries. We can just uh, plug this into the camera and start using it. So now on the back here it's going to say um, easy to use as far as the features, easy to use, no batteries needed, switch between mono and stereo auxiliary um, audio input for lavalier microphones and includes two furry windscreens and yeah so all right let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and cut through this tape here so that we can um, so that we can get into the microphone and check this out into the box and check out the microphone so let's see if we can get that open there and that wasn't bad at all so there we go we get a first off a uh, what is this? It looks like it's going to be a quick start guide. So, yep, there is going to be a quick start guide that's going to show us how to get this thing going. So we'll set that off to the side for the moment and pull this out and we'll see. We'll just get everything out of here. And first off, we're going to get the uh, the mic right here. And this is nice. This is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. So here is the uh, this is the silica gel, which we always seem to get. <laughs> and um, and then let's see, there is a, there is an audio cable in here and I think that's it. I think we just have the audio cable and yeah, that's it. All right. So we're going to get the mic. We're going to get the silica gel. We always have silica gel. And then we have the, uh, the V mic, uh, uh, D4 dual quick start guide here. So we can kind of see how to use it and, uh, and what's what on here. So. All right, let's just set that off over there for the moment. But here we have it. We can uh, we can see that we get two furry dead cats on here. And on the back part, we can see there is a capsule right here. And we're going to see that there is going to be um, a, uh, a two pattern. We're going to have one for the single and one for the double or, or the front and the back here. So if you're just recording on the front, I believe that's going to be right here. This is the main capsule. This is the rear capsule. So you can put it back here. So... I'm not sure if there's a way that you can switch it up so that if you only want the rear capsule, you get that. But I guess we'll find out. I, I think that I think it's uh, I think you either have to go with the front capsule or with the um, or with both capsules. So if we take this off here, we can see that um, here is the the front capsule right there. It says D80 uh, D4 Dual, and yeah. Feels nice. Now there is an input right there so that we can plug in, I believe, a, uh, a lavalier mic if we wanted to. So we could do that. Um, and uh, and there's that. And also, I could swear I saw right here an output. Yep, there's an output right here as well so that we can plug in, um, you know, our cable and get this out to our camera. So there we go. So this is going to go out to the camera just like just right there. Hook the, we'll put the, uh, we'll put the, uh, the foam dead cats back on or, or the foam wind puffs as they call it. Some people get offended by the, uh, dead cat name, but that's what they call them in the industry. So yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm really, really surprised. I thought this was going to be much, much bigger. Everything I've seen online, this mic for whatever reason looks bigger and it's not. And I'm very, very pleased about that. So, all right, here we go. I'm going to start off by, um, by just putting it right on top of my Sony camera right here and trying that out. So, because I mean, often I'm recording here in the studio. Now I never record, I shouldn't say never. I very, 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 and very, very, 
very, very, very <laughs> rarely record with a microphone on top of my camera. Nine times out of 10, I have a mic right overhead. It's boomed overhead. But what I wanna do is just test it to see what it's gonna sound like if I put this microphone on top of my uh, on top of my camera. I'm recording with the Sony A7R III right now. We'll put that on top of the camera, see what it sounds like. I'm only about arm's length away right here. I can actually touch my lens with my hand there. So I'm only maybe about, you know, two, three feet away. And, uh, and we'll see what that sounds like. And then I think I'm gonna mount it up here onto my boom arm where I normally have my shotgun mic there. And we'll boom this over and uh, we'll see what it sounds like with it boomed. And then if it stops raining, maybe we'll go outside and we'll vlog with it a little bit and see what that sounds like as well. All right, everyone, I went ahead and hooked up the Deity V-Mic D4 Dual, and that is what you are hearing right now. It is right on top of my Sony, my A7R 3 and yeah, it's just what you're hearing right now, just mounted camera top. So if you were uh, putting this right on top of a camera and you just set it down somewhere and were recording, this is what you can expect. Now, I am in a room with four walls, and so there might be a bit of an echo because that's what you get in a room with four walls. And as you can see, the wall behind me is not sound treated. Now, I do have some sound treatment on the wall right behind me and on this side over here, but that's pretty much it. So there's probably some echo in here. But I'm curious to know what it sounds like. I can see right now just from looking at the levels that I, it seems like this mic is sensitive enough that I don't have to do a whole bunch of, uh, of, of gain, of adding a bunch of gain in post-production. It seems like it's able to handle, uh, you know, what I'm putting at it right now. Now I'm pretty loud. I admit it. I'm pretty loud, but you know, I am probably about three feet or so away. I am arm's length away. I can actually touch my lens there, but there we have it. So this is the Deity D -mic, uh, V Mic D4 Dual, and this is just with the front capsule activated, not the rear capsule, because, well, I'm not behind the camera. I don't need it. And I'm in my room, so my studio here. So I don't really need, you know, uh, anything behind me heard because there's nothing behind me to hear. So, anyways, this is what the mic sounds like on top of my Sony a7R 3 I'm just kind of rambling on so you can get just get a little bit of an audio sample of it. All right, now there is one thing, and that is I want to be able to mount this right overhead in a boom situation and see what it sounds like if I can uh, boom this and, and know what the mic is going to sound like in that scenario. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it right here and, uh, yeah, just see what it sounds like. All right, so I went ahead and took the mic off of my camera and I mounted it onto my boom pole right here. And that's what you're listening to right now is the mic boomed right overhead. It's just out of frame so that you don't see it on this angle. You can't see it from this angle right here because well, I wanted you to see everything, but it is boomed right overhead here. And so if you are looking for a microphone that you can boom overhead, this is a great one for it because it's small, it's lightweight, and I think so far it's sounding pretty good. So I think that if you don't have like a big C stand, you just may like for me, I just have a cheap mic stand I bought from Guitar Center that doesn't cost much. I think it was like 20 bucks or 17 bucks or something like that. It doesn't hold a lot of weight. Not that all microphones are very heavy, but something small like this will be able to mount up just fine and you can uh, and you can uh, have this pretty much anywhere you need. Now it does also have um, a quarter 20 thread and a 3 8 thread adapter in it. So most mic stands and uh, mic boom arms have the 3 8 mount on there. It was not a problem at all. I just had to take the quarter 20 thread to 3 8 adapter out of there. And yeah, that was it. It mounted right up, no problem. And that's what you're hearing right now. So now there are a, uh, there are a couple of things that I wanna figure out about this where I want to test out with this microphone. One is, I want to know, is the dead cat going to show up in frame if I use this with my GoPro? I do like to, uh, to vlog with my GoPro sometimes. I have the GoPro Hero Black 9, and I'm wondering if the, uh, if the dead cat's going to show up in frame. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it on there and try that out and see if it works. Now, the other camera that I like to vlog with is 
my Sony a7S III, which is what you're seeing right here. And this camera, I know for a fact, I can mount this microphone on there without any problem, without getting in the frame at all. So I'm gonna try it first with my GoPro and see if it works. If it, if it doesn't, if it gets in the frame, then I'm gonna mount it up on my Sony and see how it works there. But I'm really excited to have a microphone that I can actually vlog with and I can speak on the front and then the back and that's what I wanna test. So let's go throw it on the GoPro first and try that out. All right, so I went ahead and mounted the Deity V-Mic D4 Dual on my GoPro Hero Black 9, and I'm not seeing it in the frame, which is fantastic, which means I'm gonna be able to vlog with this microphone and my GoPro, and it's fantastic. So when I put it in the mode where, in the stereo mode where it's gonna record with the front capsule and the back capsule, I can just simply turn the camera around when I want to. That's one of those things that I really like to do is just simply be able to hold it out in front of me like this and talk. And then when I get ready to show people whatever I'm looking at, just turn the camera around and start showing them that. But oftentimes what happens is I have to then stop, take the mic off, turn it around, and then continue. With this, I'm not gonna have to do that. But first things first, let me go ahead and just actually let you listen to what the microphone sounds like with the GoPro in here as I'm vlogging. So here I am, I'm recording with the GoPro and the, uh, and the D4 Dual in here. Now I'm in my studio right now, might be a little echoey, I don't know, but this is what you can expect as far as the sound quality with the, uh, with the V-Mic D4 Dual right here connected to my GoPro. I'm gonna go outside because I wanna walk around a little bit and see how well this shock mount works and then also just be able to turn it around and listen to what it sounds like if I'm recording with the front mic and then the back mic. So let's head outside and try that out right now. Okay, so here I am walking outside and I have my, uh, my microphone hooked up to my GoPro just like I did indoors here. And, uh, and I'm walking and we can see the shock mount is working nicely. I can tell it is not really bouncing very much. And this is working out great I think so far. Um, one thing that's nice about this is, and I love about this microphone, is that when I have the microphone right here pointed towards me, I can, uh, I can sit up here and talk to the camera and uh and have the microphone pointed right at me but when i want to turn it around i can simply turn it there and have the back microphone pointed you know right at me as well so i can have my audio still being picked up nicely whether it's pointing uh whether i have the camera pointing towards me or pointing away from me so if i'm out here vlogging and i want to show people something let's say i want to show them over here the greenery and whatnot I can do that and still have my voice picked up. But then when I want to turn it back on me, I simply turn the camera back towards me and the audio is still going to pick me up really, really nicely. I mean, this is just a winner. The D4 Dual, I mean, I see why people say this is the best microphone for vlogging because I'm just in, absolutely in love with this mic right now. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Deity B-Mic D4 Dual. This is a fantastic microphone. It is a microphone with two capsules on it. You have the front capsule and the rear capsule so that you can record in, uh, you know, with just the front or you can record with the front and the back at the same time. Yeah, this thing is amazing. This is what people say is the perfect vlogging mic, and I have to agree. I just can't imagine that there's anything else that's better right now. I have tested all kinds of microphones, uh, both wireless and wired, and I, all I can say is that right now, this is the mic to beat. This thing is absolutely fantastic. It works well on top of the camera. It works well when it's boomed up above. It well, works well on my GoPro. It's just absolutely amazing. So I'm digging it. So anyways, um, I'm gonna leave a link to this, uh, to this mic down below in the video description so that you can check it out and pick one up if you're interested. And if you are vlogging, definitely consider this. I have to say, if you are a vlogger and you're looking for a mic, you want something that's small, something that's discreet, check this out. I thought this mic was gonna be bigger. When I, when, I, when I first saw this mic online, I thought, geez, that's kind of big. I'm not sure if I want that. It's not as big as it looks online. This thing is really quite petite. So 
Yeah. Anyways, again, I'm going to leave this uh, link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.